eyes shrouded in smoke. Smoke is everywhere. Crime is everywhere. The police are helpless. On the outskirts of town, in this modest castle, with all his ill-gotten gain, lives the one they call the boss. This is the boss. The entire city is in his clutches. No one crosses the boss and lives. Here's the cat. Cat is the boss's lookout. Boss! I got news! The boss is surrounded by his loyal band of henchmen, each a master criminal in his own right. They know nothing escapes the boss, not even plethora. Plethora is his prisoner. She yearns for someone to set her free. Our love story begins with Plethora's yearning. Oh, where can he be who will free me and the whole city, she cries. Oh, where can he be? Where can he be? Where? Here, in the wilderness, the call of adventure comes to Frank. Do you think, could it have been Plethora's doleful cry? Who can say? For sometimes all it takes is a woman's yearning to make a young man leave the river of his youth. To make a young man say goodbye to his ancestral home. Goodbye, Pa. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Pa. You do right well in the big city, son. You gotta do right well. You got an honest face, son. Thank you, Pa. Goodbye, son. Oh, Pa, say goodbye to Ma for me, will you? Goodbye, Ma. And Frank is on his way. Oh, that's me. In a moment, Frank and I will meet for the first time. You'll see. He'll call me Stranger. Hey, Stranger! I was wondering if you, you couldn't tell me the way to the city. I'm going there myself. Oh. What are you, what are you gonna do when you reach the big city, stranger? I think I'll write a story about life in the big city. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. I think that's a good idea. What are you gonna do, Frank? I don't know. But I'm sure I'm bound to find my chosen field. <laughs> I hope so. Wait a minute, Frank. Hey, what's the big rush, Frank? Please, Frank. Frank. But Frank runs on ahead, as if to conquer the big city single-handedly. Later that same day, the cat, remember him, ever watchful, can plainly see that something is going terribly wrong. Look who's escaped. Plethora has flown the coop. The boss will be furious. Bothering you, ma'am? I'm in grave danger. He's after me, the one they call the boss. Well, uh, I'd like to help you, ma'am. You don't even know what you're getting into. I'm in grave danger. And Frank is off and running. Now! Throwing all caution to the wind. Uh, hold your horses, ma'am. I think I'm falling in love with you. Because you look like you need some friends. She's got them, buddy boy. Are these your friends, ma'am? That's right. Hey, he sounds like where I'm from. Uh, <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? <laughs> oh, boy, a real car. How do you like that? <laughs> hey, fellas. Yeah, well, you're <laughs> <laughs> Make a little bunker, Get off, heck. 
Uh, what'd you say your name was, ma'am? Her name's Plethora. Plethora, right. Miss Amulet, if you wear it and you remain pure and innocent and full of hope, no harm would come to you. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am, but I, I can't take a present from a stranger. Will you beat it? But I love you, Plethora. Oh, try to remember me. One day we'll meet again. Oh, you are good. Go away, quick, go away. Hey, you forgot to tell us your name. Oh, my name is... searches for an honest man in his struggle against evil. Keep on, Alfred. It's raining, sir. I'm getting all wet. Morning. Suddenly, the good doctor stops. Oh, that look in his eye. I've seen it before. Alfred, look in that alley. Yes, sir. 